Orsted's experiment. Danish school teacher Hans Christian Orsted in the year 1820 concluded a magnetic field is created around a current carrying conductor. Hans Orsted placed a compass needle below a wire carrying current. He observed that the needle deflected, showing that a magnetic field is created around the wire. Hans Orsted repeated the experiment by placing the compass needle above the wire. He observed that the needle deflected in the opposite direction. This experiment indicated that the direction of the magnetic field above and below the wire is in opposite directions. He also observed that if the direction of the current in the wire is reversed, the deflection in the compass needle is also reversed. This experiment shows that the direction of the magnetic field depends upon the direction of current. Let us now perform an experiment to map the magnetic field. Arrange a copper wire, key, battery and a thick sheet of cardboard with a hole at its center as shown here. Sprinkle some iron filings on the cardboard. Now gently tap the cardboard. Do you observe any change in the arrangement of iron filings? The iron filings do not show any change in their arrangement because no current is flowing through the conductor. Now switch on the current. What do you observe? The iron filings arrange themselves in concentric circles around the conductor. This is because the electric current produces a magnetic field around the conductor and the iron filings being magnetic in nature align themselves in concentric circles. So I'm going to clip this on. Now. So it looks like all of the arrows are tending to go around in a counterclockwise fashion from this perspective. I'll turn the current back off. Now I'm going to reverse the current and run it the other direction. So in this case, the current will be flowing down the wire through the, through the cardboard. And let's see what direction the field is there. And now they all seem to be pointing in a clockwise fashion around the wire. The farther I get from the wire, the weaker the field seems to get. It didn't quite line up as quickly or prominently. I'll pull them back a little farther. So they're all being influenced by the Earth's magnetic field there. And they're not all pointing perpendicular to the wire anymore. They're being more greatly influenced by the Earth's field. This one was having a real hard time deciding is the Earth Earth's field stronger or is this one stronger due to the wire? Let's do a little farther out. There we are. One more try. Kind of a tepid response from a few of them. Magnetic field around a straight conductor can be understood by the following activity. Take a flat cardboard and cover it with a white sheet of paper. In the middle of the cardboard, make a hole and through it pass a thick wire and connect the ends of the wire to a dry cell using connecting wires. Plot magnetic lines of force around the conductor with the help of plotting compass. It is observed that the lines of force are in the form of concentric circles.
the direction of the lines of force will be clockwise. The experiment is repeated again, but now the current is passed in the opposite direction as shown in the figure. Then the lines of force will be in anti clockwise direction. If the strength of the current is increased, then the number of lines of force around the conductor increases. This in turn increases the magnetic strength of the conductor. Rules for determining the direction of the magnetic field Observe the direction of the compass needle when the current is passing through a straight wire carrying current. Now observe the direction of the compass needle when the current is reversed. The deflection of the needle is reversed in these cases. This shows that the direction of the magnetic field around a conductor depends on the direction of the current flowing through it. Instead of using a compass needle every time, we can determine the direction of magnetic field by using rules like right hand thumb rule and Maxwell's corkscrew rule. Right hand thumb rule. Imagine the conductor to be held in your right hand with the fingers curled around it. If the thumb points in the direction of the current, then the curled fingers show the direction of the magnetic field. Maxwell's corkscrew rule. Imagine a right-handed corkscrew being rotated along the wire in the direction of the current. The direction of rotation of the thumb gives the direction of the magnetic lines of force.